guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Heather. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, elementary, middle, and high school age, and we are in our 12th year homeschooling this year. Today, I'm going to be sharing a review of the Science Unlocked homeschool kits from Home Science Tools, so let's get started. So this year for science for Jack, who is in seventh grade, I decided to choose some, well, we chose together some boxes from Home Science Tools and they are called Science Unlocked. And I have a whole video of everything that it was in the boxes that we got, um, the different boxes that we got. We chose four for this year, one for each quarter. And this is going to be kind of a review of how everything has gone. Now we are still in the midst of our homeschool year at this point. We are finishing up the last box for the year, but I wanted to do the review now because I've had a lot of people ask for the review um, because they're thinking about homeschool curriculum for next year. So what I am going to do is kind of go through the pros and the cons, and I will start with the cons just so that you know up front. Um, there really weren't many cons in my opinion or in Jack's opinion. Um, the biggest Thing I think would probably be the cost because they are kind of pricey. I think they are 40 to $60 per box, but each box comes with everything you need to complete that entire unit. Now, I think that for middle school and under, the four boxes would be plenty. When you go in, there's a teacher guide. It has how long each lesson in the box takes and um, you know I think Jack was doing science maybe three days a week for an hour most of those days had experiments I felt very pleased with the amount of work that he was doing for for science for middle school for the year if we're talking about high school science obviously you're going to need more content in order to qualify that as a credit um, and once you look at the full year curriculum packages that they have put together, they're nine or 10 boxes. I don't think that that is necessary for middle school and under. If you have a science loving kid and you are flying through the boxes, perhaps. But what I ended up doing was I would expand upon the box. We would watch documentaries based on whatever the theme for the box was. Um, we would deep dive a little bit more on the different experiments. We would look up YouTube videos. All of that kind of stuff can also be included to expand those boxes. So I don't necessarily think that you need to have nine or ten boxes and do one box each month. I think that you could certainly choose fewer boxes and then um, look for books and other resources to complement what the experiments are in the box. I do not plan to use these for high school science because I'm going in the traditional college prep science trajectory. That's what we've done for Emma. She's finishing up Apology of Biology. Next year will be chemistry for her. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be doing for Jack yet. He may start physical science uh, for eighth grade or um, he may end up doing more of these science unlocked boxes. I'm not sure yet what my plan is. <laughs> we're not at the homeschool. <laughs> the homeschool planning stages quite yet um, for science anyways. The other con that we had, which is one that Jack mentioned, is that some of the experiments did not work quite how the book kind of led us to believe they ought to work. And that may be because of user error or because I was not facilitating any of this work. He was doing all of the science stuff on his own for the most part. I did help him some, but for the most part, he was working on it on his own. So it's possible that things maybe just didn't work because they weren't done as exact as they needed to be, but that was only a couple of the experiments. It was not all of the experiments. So now I'm going to go over the pros of this. Uh, the first one, it pretty much everything was completely done by Jack. I did have a teacher guide. I did check his answers to questions for all of the different lessons within the unit um, and obviously expanded upon things that 
we wanted to uh, learn more about. Um, the boxes really kept his interest and that was important to me. He could take or leave most of homeschool, <laughs> to be honest. He does his work, he does not complain, um, but he, his main focus is working for Nintendo and it has been since he was about four. So sometimes it's hard for me to translate that into you need to learn this and you need to learn this. Science experiments though, he really enjoys. And so that was the primary reason that we purchased this curriculum because it was so heavy on experiments, but everything for the experiment came in the box. It wasn't like, here's a couple of things for the experiment, but you also need this list of 10 to 12 other things that are commonly found in your home. None of those things are ever in our home. And <laughs> it drives me absolutely insane. I don't go out to buy, I don't want to spend more money on random stuff that we don't typically have in our house <laughs> to complete a science experiment. It seems like a waste of money to me. So for that reason, these boxes were perfect for us. I think there was only like, you need a measuring spoon or a plate or a tray. Well, those things I do actually have in the house. And so that was really good. The experiments were a lot of fun. Um, Lucy and Emma also enjoyed watching him uh, do some of the experiments. He, uh, one of the ones that we really enjoyed was the battery and the steel wool, setting fire to things. That, I think he spent probably four or five hours and we went through all of the extra batteries that I had in my house for you know, smoke alarms to <laughs> to uh, use with the steel wool. That was a lot of fun. Um, the next thing that is a pro, well, I already mentioned this, everything was included in the boxes and that's pretty much unheard of. I feel like um, we've used sunlight for science for many, many years, but, uh, and we always purchase the science kit that goes with the science level. However, like I said, there are always extra things that you need and that is where I struggle. I just, the amount of prep work that I do for everything, that is one thing that I just struggle doing. I don't go out shopping all of the time and so I'm not thinking, oh, I need to get toothpicks or I need to get uh, saran wrap or I need to go to the garden center and buy this particular soil or whatever. So that, I can't even say enough about how wonderful it was to not have to think about that and just have everything in the box. Um, the next thing that was a pro is that the teacher's guide had all of the answers for all of the problems and extra notes. Um, so I really like to <laughs> have that. It wasn't something like I was like, oh, I need to figure out why this is happening or why this didn't work. I kind of had all of that information ahead of time. I really like that each box also had a student workbook. And so they go through, there's questions, there's charts that they have to fill out, um, data that they have to collect, writing down their hypothesis for different experiments, what the actual outcome was. I loved all of that. And I thought it was really, really good. Um, I liked the extra information that was in, um, in the student workbook as well. And like I said, Jack was able to really fulfill most of this on, on his own as a seventh grader. Now, obviously, if you're looking at these boxes for the early elementary or uh, upper elementary, I don't have any experience with that. I have not used them for that level. I This is the first year that we've used them. It's only been middle school science. And, um, and like I said, we did not do a box each month. I think a box each month would be overwhelming. There were some, um, I think two of the boxes that had about eight weeks of work in them. And perhaps if you buy the full year curriculum, it balances it out uh, between, you know, shorter uh, shorter boxes, shorter time frame to complete it versus longer time frame. So overall, I loved these boxes. Now, obviously the cost is, a little bit of a shock. However, I kind of feel like as you're getting into the upper upper levels of science, it's pretty, I'm mainly thinking about high school at this point, it's pretty average for the cost, um, which is kind of insane because I'm looking at chemistry for Emma. We're doing biology right now. I think I think her biology, because we did purchase a microscope as well. Although that, if I remove the microscope, it still costs 
I think about $700 for all of Emma's biology curriculum. And that was insane. And honestly, chemistry is looking to be the same way. So <laughs> if I want her to do a lab associated with chemistry, so high school level science is expensive, um, but if you are doing eighth grade and below, I think that you could definitely pick and choose which boxes you wanted. And instead of doing nine or 10 boxes, do four or maybe five. Um, and then it's, it's a much more manageable. And just remember that everything that you need is in the box. There, you don't have to go out and get anything else. So um, I think that oftentimes we forget about those extra added costs of the little things that maybe we need for different experiments that we just don't have in the house. And then we have to go buy a whole bunch of that one thing just so that we can use a couple pieces of that one thing. So in the grand scheme of things, I think that the cost of the boxes was actually worth it. And um, I think that the value was there. And so while it is a little bit more expensive than some science programs, the fact that it came with all of the experiments, the fact that it could be self-led by Jack, the fact that um, we could expand upon the different uh, topics that we were studying within each box, I think that that more than made up for, um, for the cost of the box itself for all of the experiments. So that is kind of my review of the Science Unlocked kits from Home Science Tools. I will leave links in the description box for the unboxing that I did where I went through everything in the four boxes that we chose this year. And, um, and I will see, I think I, ha I have a couple of vlogs where we had done some experiments. Jack was doing some experiments that I filmed. So I will leave those in the description box as well um, with a timestamp so that you can go directly to where he is working on the experiments if you are interested in that. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. I definitely recommend these, again, um, not the cheapest science curriculum, but honestly, it it was one of our best science years uh, and that I think was very, very good. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.